women. Now, making headlines today is America's First Lady, Michelle Obama, who said that when considering a potential partner, going out with a man for his money is a bad move. She's told U.S. magazine, don't look at the bank book or the title, look at the heart, look at the soul, look at how the guy treats his mother and what he says about women, and how he acts with children he doesn't know. So, are these wise considerations when picking a potential partner? Well, I don't think any of us do that, do we? Really? I mean, I, I definitely when you're younger, I don't think you do it. I think you just kind of fancy somebody and hope for the best afterwards, don't you? <laughs> um, but I, th I think probably maybe as you get a little bit older, you maybe have a sort of subconscious checklist of mm. things that you know might work for you. Like, I know when I first met Paul, I was, I, I, my first date with him was with the, myself and a gay friend. And I deliberately... So you looked to see if he was gay. That's always a good idea. Well, no, <laughs> yes. I think I'd worked that one out on my own. And, um, but this, this gay friend of mine was, it was a bit like having your mother there. He was saying, what are your intentions? You know, are you, you know do, you, do you earn a good living? What car do you drive and all that? But what was more interesting to me was that he was really comfortable around my gay friend. And it's got, I mean, I, I think it's quite important that you have someone that gets on well with your girlfriends. I like to see a man surrounded by women. And I think if they're comfortable in that situation, and, you know, then I think that they're probably all right Ooh. well I yes I'm all for that but I don't believe it. it's all very well in hindsight yes, she's married to the president of the United States of America who's quite handsome who's got a few bob I mean it's easy to say don't look at those things <laughs> um, and I don't think when you're 20 you do I think you either fancy somebody or you don't and if they don't fit in you make them fit in don't you, mm -hmm. you is that of, what you did in, well I did yes look where it got me <laughs> Of course, I've gone for the soul. Mm. Yes, I've gone for the soul. Oh, oh, Mr. Spade. He's got a good soul. Yeah. Um, no, he has. He's got no money. He's got to have a good soul. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. I didn't mean that. No, I, I, I think she's, she's right in essence, but I, I would honestly challenge anybody in their youth mm -hmm. to be thinking, now, I wonder, it's a bit like a Jane Austen novel, you know. Oh, I wonder yeah. if he's the right sort of man for me. I, do, oh. I did make one sort of demand, which I'm a bit ashamed of, really, because it's... It, I, when I was pregnant with Bo, I remember, and I said, it's awful, but I said to Paul, we're going to have to move, you know. And, I, and he said, well, why, why do we need to move? I said, we're going to need a bigger place because, you know, we've got a baby. And he went, well, the baby's about that big, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I went, yeah, but there's all that stuff, you know, you've got to have, like, inflatable this and blankets and all that sort of things. And he was like, yeah, but the baby doesn't know where it is, you know. And I, I had it in my mind that I wanted to have no arguments about space. I wanted to control everything. And I thought by having a bigger house that we'd be one of those happier families, mm. which was a really totally materialistic wow. thing. I don't know. I think it was wrong, actually. Because you're nesting instead. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Because Bo didn't know where she was, you know. Oh, you could have, could have been anywhere. A caravan had done love. Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I am a little bit the Jane Austen type because I keep harping on about it, but there is more to a relationship and a long-term relationship than sex. Oh, I just said it. Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Try it. Oh, no. That's pushing it. But she's been on the back of that bike. I know. It's, just, it's unplugged a lot of oh, things, isn't dear, it? Oh, dear, dear. But, um, yeah, I think, you know, you have to look at whether you're going to get on, whether he's going to fit in with the family, whether you've got the same interest in life. I mean, mm. sex is all love. I've said it again. <laughs> it's all good and, and, and well when it's going well. But, come on, let's be honest. After a few years, it does die down a bit. And, and, also, and, and I'm sure a lot of it does, mate. Yeah. Oh, and if you're starting again, which, yeah. you know, your, your Ed is, he's, yeah. he's got a daughter, um, and I was starting again, obviously, with a, with a young son, it is really important to see how they get on with your children if, it, if, mm. it, if they're not your children together, if you know what I mean. Um, and I have to say that was a really important thing for me because if he didn't treat Finley nicely, mm -hmm. um, Steve would have been out the door, no matter mm. how I felt about it. As it is, he's lovely and he's a, he's a really wonderful stepdad and he, he's, he doesn't ever try and replace his dad when he has a dad. Mm. Um, one of my favourite pictures and, and images in my mind of Steve is when Amy was very first born and she was only a couple of hours old, so she looked like that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> only uglier. Love you now, Amy. Um, and uh, it's a picture of him. He's, just, he's a great big man. And he's holding a picture of her, and he's right up like that. And we plonked a little hat on her head. And I say little because she was so enormous, the hat didn't fit. And she's like, like that. And he's just going... <laughs> and my favourite picture, because he's this big, burly man, exhausted, you know, because we'd been up all night. And bless him, he'd been pacing. It was tiring for him. Yeah. <laughs> hold, holding this baby. And, and that's what it's sort of all about. I used to have a husband who said, all cockroaches look beautiful to their mother. <laughs> oh, <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> well, he would.